My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with a Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. This is episode number 111 of the 120 Days to Jam Chemistry with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be looking at improving the quantity and quality of petrol. Petroleum or petrol is the most important or the most useful component of crude oil. Very, very important and useful. However, we don't have so much of this petrol in terms of quantity and in terms of quality. So, how do we improve the quantity of petrol to have more and how do we improve the quality of petrol? In March 2020, yes, there was serious scarcity of petrol. Serious. Why? A particular petrol was imported to the country. People put it in their car to drive, to take their kids to school. They noticed that this petrol knocked the car. The petrol was knocking so many cars. Because of that, that particular petrol was banned and there was serious scarcity. What is the reason for that? Low quality petrol. Low quality petrol. What is the reason for scarcity? No low quantity of petrol. To get more of petrol, there are three things you can do. The first is cracking. Now, when you have long chain, stretch chain hydrocarbon, very long chain, they are not good. So to get more of petrol, we convert this long chain, very long one, to branch chain. That is basically making them shorter. With that, you can get a lot of petrol because branch chains are very good for petrol. There are three ways you can crack petrol. The first is thermal cracking, applying heat or temperature up to about 700 degrees Celsius. You can crack petrol using catalyst. In that case, that is catalytic cracking. And catalytic cracking involves low temperature and catalyst like alumina or silicates. We have hydro cracking. You crack petrol at low temperature using catalyst and adding stream of hydrogen. Using hydrogen to crack, that is hydro cracking. In any of these guys, you are cracking and you are trying to change long chains to branch chains. Bergeon's process is a or an industrial process used to increase the quantity of petrol. It converts coal to petrol. With that, we get more of petrol. And the Tropsch process is catalytic reduction of carbon monoxide to get petrol. In any of these cases, we are getting petrol. Meanwhile, to improve the quality of petrol, we need to do certain things. There are two ways to increase quality of petrol by adding additive or by reforming. Now, a quality petrol is one that does not cause knocking. And petrol is rated in terms of octane number. Octane. Why diesel is rated in terms of certain number. When a petrol has an octane rating of 100, it is a very high quality petrol. It does not have any tendency to knock the engine. But obtain rating of zero will knock the engine. So, 224 trimethylpentane or iso octane has an octane rating of 100. So, it does not cause knocking. Normal heptane, which is stretch chain heptane, will cause great knocking because it has octane number of zero and it is a straight chain. Now, 
to know the quality of petrol or to have a quality petrol, we need to compare the rating of the petrol and how it compares to the 224 trimethyl pentane. There are two ways to improve the quality of petrol. One, additive. We add something to petrol to increase the quality. We, before now, we are adding lead tetraethyl or tetraethyl lead, tetra, tetraethyl lead to improve the quality of petrol. It was stopped due to pollution. pollution. What we now add is 1,2-dibromoethane. If you have a petrol and you add 1,2-dibromoethane, the quality will, will improve. Then we reform to improve the quality of petrol. Reforming has to do with rearranging of carbon atoms in straight chains into branch chains or cyclic form or cyclic form to prevent knocking. If you have a carbon atom in straight chain, you convert them into a branch chain or you rearrange them into a like a cyclic form to prevent knocking. In cracking, you basically crack or break the long chains into branch chains. But for reforming, you are rearranging the atoms in straight chains into branch chains. So rearranging of atoms in straight chains to form branch chain or to form circular, that is referred to as reforming. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for this episode, improving the quality and quantity of petroleum. I hope you found this helpful. See ya in the next episode.